Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in the amazing Nashville studios. And we have another episode of Glock Store here to show you some unusual things that you will not find anywhere else. This is it. This is a threaded barrel for a Glock 19 that is left-hand thread. <laughs> okay. Of course, here in the United States, we're, you know, accustomed to everything, screwing this righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, right? That's the old saying. If you haven't heard of that before, keep that in mind. Next time you're going up to, it's righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Well, this is the exact opposite. It's lefty-tighty, righty-loosey. <laughs> so, uh, the question you're probably asking yourself, well, why? Okay, okay, these are made uh, for overseas uh, where they have a little bit more, you know, metric thing going on and they're thinking about it. But I want you to really, uh, you know, enjoy this conversation about how this is a better option for a suppressor or anything else that you're screwing on here. Uh, because when you shoot a bullet down through the bore, the rifling goes to the right side. Because of that, this spinning bullet induces a little bit of uh, vibration that is going to go that way, which will then in turn elicit some looseness to a suppressor or anything else that is screwed onto a traditional right-hand threaded barrel. The exact opposite is true with this left-handed barrel. As that bullet is spinning down the bore, it's actually tightening the left-handed thread suppressor. So it keeps it on. So it's really a better system. These barrels are really only available in Europe. We made a special deal to get some of them because some people have actually asked about them. They said, hey, you know, is there a left-handed version available? So when you buy a suppressor, you gotta make sure it's the left-handed thread or that the hub itself is left-handed thread which, you know, most of the suppressor manufacturers are well aware of that situation. So, I mean, again, it's a threaded barrel with a left-handed thread. It's got European markings on the top of it, uh, so it's really a rare thing. You're not going to find them in anywhere else in the United States. Uh, and it goes in just like every other barrel would go in, but I'm going to just go ahead and demonstrate it anyways. Of course, you drop your magazine. Make sure the gun is unloaded. Pull the trigger in a safe direction. Pull the slide off by pulling back the slide just a little bit and pulling down on the slide lock, walk the slide off, boom, there's the frame, lower. Okay, here comes the guide rod, here comes the standard barrel, as opposed to the threaded barrel. You can see it's a little bit longer, of course, to accommodate the threads. And like I said, this one is unusual because it is in fact a left-handed thread. In it goes, boom, and then you, here comes your guide rod again we just go ahead and get that positioned properly and we can go ahead and pop it onto the frame now once you're here you always want to make sure that you manage those threads you're aware of the threads because any time or anything you do with those threads if you ding them even on a plastic, a hard plastic or a table or something like that it could bend the threads a little bit which would then render those uh threads, uh, well, useless, basically. So, of course, most threaded barrels come with a thread protector, and this one, of course, comes with a thread protector. So now, um, my instinct is one to, is want to turn it to the right, but it doesn't go that way, so I want to come in here, I want to turn it to the left. It'd be your left as you're watching, just like that. It's funny, because, you know, you automatically, you know, when I, when I get it, I automatically want to go the other way. Uh, but there's the thread protector, and it's very important that you understand the concept behind the thread protector and why you want to use that, because you want to protect those threads from getting dinged, uh, even in just putting it into your bag. You know, if it were to intersect with any metal object, it has the potential to, uh, to disrupt the actual uh, circular side of those threads. So you want to be very careful with your uh, thread protector. Now, one other thing about the threads, a lot of people are probably asking, well, what's the thread pitch? So the thread pitch, I have it written down here, is 13 and a half by one. Okay, so that's something to be, keep in mind too. And that's pretty standard here with uh, most of the Glock's uh, uh, threaded barrels for this left-handed thread. It's 13 and a half by one. So there it is. It's a, uh, a threaded barrel, uh, not available really anywhere else. And it's something that uh, I wanted to show you because, uh, well, it's unusual. 
and uh, we like to bring you everything about Glock so that you can be totally aware of the whole entire Glock world. I'm Lenny McGill. This, of course, is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in beautiful Nashville, Tennessee. If you're in Nashville, you got to come see us. We're literally two miles from the airport, and uh, we'd love to have you come in. Uh, we've got just about every Glock in stock, every magazine you can imagine, and all kinds of really cool, exciting pieces. Not to mention, we've got a Shoot 270 shoot room. So we hope to see you here in Nashville. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.